lovely Libras. This is Debs and this is your TGIF for Friday the 20th of September 2024. Libra. There's a lot coming through. There was a lot coming through in meditation. I don't know whether or not you know that. I always meditate before each reading <laughs> to pick up on energies. So Libra, uh, let's get into this. The deck that I'm using is the Marchetti deck. If you'd like a private reading, my website's down below. If you want to join the channel, the link is there too. And of course, all the decks. So Libra, you may be mulling something over. Hmm. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday, the 20th of September, moving into the weekend and into a new week. And I'm hearing slow down. Slow down, Libra. You may be tempted to do something very quickly. Act on impulse. Say something without thinking. Fire off an email. Just chill out a little bit is what I want to say. Chill out a little bit. You may be keen to get something locked down, something moving forward. It may be you just need to be a bit more patient with something, Libra. It may be. Hmm. We will see. We will see. The Magician. Yeah, you're in powerful energy right now. You can manifest whatever you want. I'm feeling as if you're trying to manifest a situation. You feel you have everything you need to do that. You may be trying to manifest a new relationship. Or Libra, you may be thinking about manifesting a very big change. It could be on the material plane. It may be you're trying to manifest a lump sum of money. It could be you're trying to manifest a move, uprooting and moving. You're really wanting to get something going here. Page of coins. The page of coins can be you moving towards someone almost to say, are we ready? Are, are we doing this? You know, thank you so much. As if to say, Come on now, you know, let, let's kind of get this, uh, get this going. You may not get the response you want. It may be you're met with a little bit of sort of, oh yeah, you know, well these things take time. Could be frustrating. Yeah, it's frustrating. Ten of Wands. It's as if you really want to make sure this is going to work or you really want to make sure this is successful so you may be tempted to prod a few people, you know, or message someone two or three times when one message is enough. Are you nervous because you don't think this is going to work out? Is this why you're keen to sort of get things moving? Yeah, this is just a lot of frustration, <laughs> Libra. Oh, guys, we've all been there. Whoever your person is, friend, family member, partner, uh, work colleague, whoever this person is, is seeing you gently trying to sort of push them a little bit. Come on, are we doing this? Is everything on track? Do I need to give you anything else? Uh, can you confirm that this is underway? It's as if, Libra, you basically want to cut the small talk and say, for God's sake, why is this taking so long? But you don't want to say that because you might be afraid that you're going to insult someone. Or you may be afraid if you come out with something like that, you're going to be seen as being a bit pushy. You know, <laughs> Libra. It's like, guys, you going for an interview. You think you've got the job in the bag. You think you've done really, really well. But the job agent isn't telling you anything. And this is you sat at home looking at your phone every two minutes. Have I got the job? Have I got the job? Oh, I really, really, really hope so. Oh, it's a great job. It's a great salary. Oh, I really hope I've got the job. And you're tempted to keep bugging the job agent. Just wanted to find out if there was any news. Yeah, sorry to bother you again. Mm -hmm. But I tried ringing you and there was no response. It, you know, it's that sort of thing. <laughs> Allow the process to unfold, Libra, is what I want to say. 
and try not to worry. Knight of Cups. This is you trying various different ways to push this forward. So, for instance, Libra, the first way would be, oh, I'm so grateful that you're doing this, or I'm so happy that this went well, or I'm really looking forward to the result, right? And then you step back. Silence. Then you go in again. Um, just to let you know that uh, I'm still waiting. I'm sure you're busy. I'm sure you've got things to do. But, you know, I just wanted to check that it was all in hand. Silence. Third time you approach this person. I'm really, really, really wanting this. I'm so excited about this. I'm looking forward to this. I haven't heard anything. I just wondered if you could let me know what's going on. Okay. Libra, this is you going in three times, silence. It's as if the angels are saying, Libra, you're just going to have to be patient. You're just going to have to be patient. If it's meant for you, it'll happen. It'll happen. Hangman. <laughs> yeah, Libra, you're just feeling a bit stuck. This is you really, really hoping this works out. This is you trying to look at the bigger picture, but it's as if you can't see the wood for the trees. You don't know if this is going to work out. You don't know if it's going to move forward. You just have no idea. And it's frustrating you, Libra, because it's almost as if you want this, you know, signed, sealed, delivered, locked down, and then you can relax. You may be on tender hooks for whatever reason. Yeah, you may be on tender hooks. Okay. Because with the Ten of Pentacles, Libra, this may have something to do with a long-term commitment or it may have to do with a lot of money. I mean, Libra, if you need to get your ducks in a row, if this is you, for instance, this is just an example, waiting for a job agent to come back to you. This is you thinking, I need to know quite soon because, you know, it's like 300 kilometers away. I'm going to need to move if I get this job. So, you know, have I got it or not? Uh, you may be looking at your bank account thinking, OK, I really hope I get the job because I hate the job I'm in. But I don't know. I've just got to wait and wait and wait. There is a sense of frustration. This is you, Libra, bidding on something. And this is you thinking, well, I've got the funds in my bank account, but I need to transfer more funds if I win this. So I've got everything organized financially to make this big payment. This is you thinking, I don't want to transfer the funds to my account that much money if I don't win the bid. Not yet. Right. I, I don't want to do that. Whatever this is for you, Libra, this is a new cycle. This is an opportunity. And this is you thinking about a large amount of money. And you're just having to wait. You're just having to wait, Libra. King of Pentacles. OK, you could be waiting on a job agent. You could be waiting on a bank manager. You could be waiting for a loan. You could be waiting to hear back from a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. I'm feeling very, very nervous as if my stomach's gone right up to my throat. Whoever I'm connecting here with Libra, you're very stressed about this because Libra, this is a big deal for you. Yeah. And you are looking at past mistakes. It's as if you may have tried this before and it didn't work. Or you may have gone for this before and you weren't successful. And this is you teetering on the edge of, I don't know if I've got this or not. It's 50-50. You may also be looking at your savings thinking, Phew, well, if I'm going to be purchasing something, I don't have quite enough money. So I'm going to have to get a little bit of a top up. But when do I need to make the payment if it all goes as planned? It could be timing and large amounts of money are very important here. Libra, I don't know, you could even be buying a house. Whatever this is for you, you're sitting there watching the clock. How much longer do I have to wait? When is the relevant person going to communicate with me so I know things are moving forward? Or so that I know whether or not I have to cut my losses and look for something else, you know? Ace of Wands. 
you're very much looking forward to this passionate new start, Libra. You're really, really wanting this. But you may be beginning to feel as if someone's testing your patience. And you're slightly worried that at the end of the day, they're going to turn around and say, yeah, sorry, Libra, uh, we decided against this or you weren't successful or I'm sorry, we've chosen someone else or you didn't win the bid. <laughs> Whatever this is, you're very, very stressed. Bless your heart. Yeah. Is somebody going to sabotage my beautiful new cycle I'm really wanting to move into? Page of Wands. Okay, you may get some good news. The Page of Wands comes through with good news. So this may work in your favour, Libra. This could be an email from a job agent. Yep, you've got the job, right? You're starting in a couple of months. It might be this is you getting a little notification to say you've won the bid. And this is you thinking, okay, wow, uh, I've got to get the money together now to pay for it quickly. Yes, this is good news, Libra. Underneath the deck, oh, the chariot. This is good news and this is fast action. A lot of swift communication. It's almost as if you've been given the go ahead. It may be you're communicating with two or three different people. OK, we're on. You know, can you all help me or can you give me guidance? Because this is now moving forward. It could be even a business loan, Libra. You could be waiting for a substantial business loan. You may be wanting to go into business with two or three other people and you're sort of waiting, feeling nervous. Are we going to get the loan, right? You may have applied before with no joy. But yes, with the Three of Pentacles, you seem to be communicating with two or three other people to let them know the good news. With the energy of the Fool, this is you thinking, well, whew, it was a bit of a risk, but it was worth it. Four of Pentacles. If this is about money, Libra, you may be getting a loan in, but then using that loan for something substantial. So you may go from looking at an opportunity, going for it, winning this or being accepted for this, maybe receiving the money you need for this or getting the money together. Then there's a big payout because you seem to go from the Ten of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. It was a bit risky. So this could be you paying for something that's quite expensive, but in your eyes, it's worth it because it's going to bring in major change and transformation. Wow. With the energy of the Hierophant, you've now got to follow the right processes. So whatever these processes are, if you're setting up a business, right, you're getting someone to create a website, you're looking at copyright, you're looking at inserting a payment page, you're making sure the images are really top notch. This is a step by step process, Libra. If, for instance, Libra, this is you getting a job, then this is you thinking, OK, well, I need to make sure that I'm genned up on the company. I need to make sure they've got my details, right? My home address. I need to make sure they've got my bank details for my salary. I need to make sure that I sign the contract and get it sent off to them and they've received it. I then need to have a chat with HR. You know, it's a process. But Libra, there is success. Yes, guys. So here we go, the lighter pathway. Let's get a little bit more information. What have we got, Archangel Michael, for my Libras? Thank you. There might have been a little bit of interference from other people. It could be competitors. It could be people slowing down the process. Well, hang on. Have we checked all of Libra's credentials? Right. <laughs> It could be something like that. So if you're there, Libra, feeling, oh my gosh, this is taking forever, then there was a little bit of interference from other people. It could be somebody sent the papers to the wrong department or something if this is legal. OK, and now this is rectified. Get more information. Yeah, Libra, find out what's going on. I'm sure you will. Hence these messages. Come on, uh, 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 are we moving forward with this? Am I successful with this? 
Okay, anything else for my lovely Libras? Work through any differences. So Libra, you may need to have a conversation with someone. Somebody may be messaging you to say, you got the job, this is a salary, and this is you looking at the salary thinking, oh, hang on, that wasn't what the agent told me. Hmm. The agent told me it was more. So you may need to speak to this person and say, um, I thought the salary was just a little bit higher. And this is this person coming back to you saying, well, yeah, but you know, uh, the rest of the salary is all relating to your commission structure, your insurance plan, which we're going to pay for, healthcare. And this is you thinking, oh, OK, all right. So I don't think anyone's trying to dupe you here, Libra, but there may be a bit of confusion about the details. Go for it. <laughs> But Libra, don't let any little niggly things cause you to back out, cause you to feel, oh, well, maybe it's not really for me, or maybe I can try and revoke my bid. No, because Libra, I think you've wanted this for quite a while. This is the divine basically saying, look, if it's going to cost just a little bit more than you thought, don't get all stressed about it. Don't cause a massive fuss about it. Because if you look at the bigger picture, right, this is obviously something that you really, really want. So rather than maybe causing problems about, oh, it's an extra hundred here or an extra hundred there. Oh, I thought, you know, delivery was included. Oh, well, I don't know if I want this now. Yeah, no, Libra, don't go down that road. And you guys know what I mean. Don't be picky at all, because I think what you're dealing with here is a lot of money or a very big opportunity. So try to be flexible. OK, and the angels are saying, just push this forward. Once you get the green light, don't look back. What else are they going to say? Make the first move. So Libra, if... This person or company or institution is not forthcoming after you've sent them a couple of gentle messages. Pick up the phone. You don't need to say, why didn't you come back to me? I've sent you a couple of emails now, right? Because you may be dealing with a massive corporation or you may be dealing with a personal group of people who are incredibly busy. Also, remember, Libra, people take days off. You know, if this is you thinking, why haven't they responded? They may have been on holiday for a couple of weeks. So if there is no response or if you feel that there's something fishy going on, just gently ask. Gently ask. And if you sent emails before, pick up the phone. If you phoned this company before, maybe write them a letter or maybe send them an email but keep it calm. Be really calm and temperate, Libra. Don't um, get angry or use words that are a bit harsh because it may work to your detriment. You know, if somebody feels as if you're just being a little bit over the top about this, um, wanting, think, wanting information sort of now, they may be tempted just to be a bit difficult and hold back even more because they may feel you're not patient. It's as if, oh, well, I'm going to let Libra wait, right? What else do we have for my Libras? Thank you, Michael. <laughs> OK, Libra, stick it out. Try to be patient and things will improve. OK, so... What you've got to look at is, even though you're frustrated, even though you feel as if you want to get really organised and you can only get really organised if you know what's going on, if you know you've won this, achieved this, if you've got the job, if you've won the item, right? Just know there is going to be good news. You are going to be moving into a new cycle. OK, this is a fortunate turn of events. It's all going to start moving. Sticking out, things will improve. There might have been a few issues with other people or paperwork or people on a holiday, okay? 
If you need more information, chat through what's worrying you because it may well be it was just miscommunication. Oh, well, yes, we said it was this price, but it's a little bit more than that because of X, Y, Z, right? Something like that. But Libra, this is looking wonderful. This is you getting the green light. So from here, let's get some messages from the universe. Here we go. This is Lenormand. I don't know if this is love. I feel this may be a life change or a very large purchase. Okay. Yeah. Libra, you're a little bit confused. <laughs> this is you looking at an array of documents thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know where to start. Make sure that you've completed the right documents. That could be the hold up. Make sure that you've sent the documents to the right department. If you're posting something and it's really important, it's a legal document you've signed, give the company a ring to make sure they've received it. There's no harm in doing that. Because I'm feeling this is you a little bit on tender hooks. You know, keeping your fingers crossed, but try not to bug anyone. Mm, yeah. <laughs> this is you standing at crossroads. This may be linked to your stability. Yeah, you may need to look at the small print. Or you may need to analyse something with a magnifying glass in order to make the right decision. Okie dokie. Wow, okay, there is going to be change. This is you moving forward, okay. I think your ships are going to come in, Libra. This is really good news for you. After feeling confused, standing at crossroads, feeling a bit frustrated, there is going to be progress. Yeah, what you need to know, Libra, whatever this is for you, it's a very complicated process. There could be several steps, okay, or several departments that pass papers from one department to the other, stamped and approved onto the next department. It's a process, Libra. This is not something that is going to be sorted out in seven days. No, no. You probably know that, but you're just dying for the good news. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this has something to do with your stability. With a one and a nine, you're really wanting to close out a cycle. This is a castle here. It could be to do with your home. It could be to do with a large amount of money, a big purchase. You could be waiting for immigration papers. You could be waiting for a work permit or a job application to go through. You're just going to have to sort of breathe, Libra. And try not to worry because it's all in process. Yeah. There is going to be enlightenment, which is going to make you incredibly happy. Three and a one again is four. There's a lot of fours and threes here. Change relating to your stability. Yeah. Wow. And with a one and an eight, which is nine, this is you closing out a cycle and you have someone loyal or someone in your corner who is behind you all the way. Could be a family member, could be a really good friend. It could be the job agent who wants you to get the job because they get their commission, right? <laughs> Libra, but this is looking wonderful, people. Let's move into the second reading, Libra. Let's see what else unfolds. I will see you guys there. Here we go. This is the Tarot de la Nuit, and let's have a look at six months into the future. Mm. Archangel Michael showing me somebody looking at their watch, and they're shaking their watch as if they're thinking, I think my watch has stopped. No, Libra, again, you're just going to have to be patient. You may find yourself looking at your clock or your watch every five minutes, you know, checking your email every two minutes. Have I got it? Have I got it? That sort of thing. Hmm. So Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, in the next few months for my Libras? Thank you, Michael. Hmm. Mm. 
yeah this waiting game thing libra for you has been really frustrating but the wheel will start moving okay i don't know guys you could be waiting for divorce papers to go through could be anything could be anything but it definitely involves contracts and money that sort of thing or a large deposit of some kind moving of some kind the knight of cups Oh, and I'm getting a softening of the energy. Once you receive this good news, Libra, you may be running around saying to people, oh, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate your help. I'm so grateful. You know, Knight of Cups can be you feeling this massive sense of relief, but maybe also realizing that you have been a bit on edge. Yeah, because... <laughs> Libra with a page of swords, this is you saying to someone, oh, I'm so glad it's good news. I'm really sorry I was a bit off with you on the phone. <laughs> I'm really sorry uh, I wasn't as uh, relaxed as I should have been about this. I was just waiting, you know, yeah. Uh, king of Wands. So you could be hearing from a King of Wands. Could be a seller. A, it could be someone in a company who's helping you. Could be a partner. You're communicating, receiving information from this King of Wands. Queen of Swords. Yeah, so Libra, this is you. This is factual. This isn't romance. This is someone who may be helping you. This, for instance, could be the job agent. Showing you the ropes, sending you the details. This could be you communicating with the seller. If you're purchasing something, mm. <laughs> look at you, look at you, the Queen of Swords, Four of Swords. It's as if you're saying thank you to those people who have made this happen for you. And what you're saying is, I'm sorry I was a bit intense with you, short with you. I'm sorry I sent you 20 emails, but oh, I've been on tender hooks, you know. I've been clock watching. I've been hoping this was all going to work out. Libra, this is lovely. This is the aftermath of you getting some really good news. Perfect, guys. Mm-hmm. Yes. Knight of Pentacles. And then I feel, Libra, you may be making some kind of payment. It may be this has been a long time coming. Yeah, and you are going to need to follow the right processes with the Hierophant. So this process isn't done yet, Libra. This is basically you getting the yay okay that the process is starting. Um, they've accepted you into the company, but you haven't yet signed the contract. Or this is you, or this is you winning the bid, but you haven't yet paid for it. This could be so many things, but with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant, there is some kind of process. That will unfold maybe documents to sign you may need to get papers looked over by someone else you know that sort of thing nine of swords you may be having sleepless nights i'm really really hoping this is going to be okay right high priestess you're trying to use your intuition you're absolutely determined not to chase or bug or message or call anyone at this point of time because you may have done that before this is you thinking okay i've just got to be cool i've just got to keep my faith that this is all going to be fine yeah if you're sending a large amount of money and you're signing really important documents you are going to have a few sleepless nights you're not going to say anything Eight of Pentacles. This is you putting in the work, Libra. You're also looking at your finances. Seven of Cups. You may be looking at parts of this in close detail. You may be pulling something apart. It could be this is you looking at the day-to-day -day duties of your job. Say, for instance, you're purchasing a vintage car, right? You're looking at what needs to be repaired and you're getting quotes. Yeah. Six of Wands, Libra. This is you achieving success. The Strength card. You may have had to pull together a lot of courage to achieve this. 
if this is you bidding on something, it's a large amount of money, and this is you thinking, oh my goodness, uh, I hope it was the right thing to do. If this is you going for a job, this is you thinking, I really hope I can do the job. This is you, you know, putting on a brave face, acting maybe a little bit more confident than you are. But you're heading to the sun, Libra. Wow. Happiness, enlightenment, forward movement, stability. For some of you, this is you actually relocating, moving. But whatever this is, Libra, this is progress. This is what you wanted and everything's going to work out fine. But what I want to say, Libra, is it may just take a little bit longer than you thought. Underneath the deck, guys, we have the moon. A little bit nervous, okay? This is you sat in a bit of fear. Oh my goodness, I hope it works out. The death card, yeah, because this is going to bring in change for you. You are taking a little bit of a leap of faith. There's no guarantees this is going to work out. There is an element of risk to this. And it may relate to a contract with the energy of justice. That's also your energy, Libra. Three of Wands, this is you waiting for your ships to come in, feeling a little bit frustrated, but you're going to be fine. And then we have you moving to calmer waters. This is the phone call. This is the email. This is whoever you're connecting to saying to you, it's fine. You've achieved this. We've accepted this. You've won this. Whatever this is for you, this is the exciting bit, Libra. And this is you thinking, oh, thank goodness. Oh, wow. All right. Whew, I'm going to go and make myself a coffee and sit in the sunshine because I don't need to sit and worry. I've had the phone call. I've received the email, you know. Yeah. And my right ear was ringing really loudly. Five of Pentacles. If this is to do with money, Libra, you may be relieved. This could be you getting a job, thinking, oh, thank goodness, because I really need the salary. With the five of pentacles, if this is you making a payment for something, it could be a large item. This is you thinking, well, once I've paid for this, I'm not going to have very much money left, but I still feel as if I've made the right decision. And then we have the magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini. You will manifest this. Yes. So Libra, this is wonderful news. You will get there. Just give it a little bit more time. And remember, it's a process. Okay. All right, guys, we're dipping into messages from the universe. So Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Libras, please? Thank you. Treasured memories. Libra, you may be feeling quite nostalgic at this time, or if this is a life-changing shift for you, record your thoughts and feelings, right? Record your thoughts and feelings. This is you scribbling in your diary how you felt when you got the phone call or the email. This is you keeping a record if you're buying a vintage car. This is you taking snapshots of the car when you first get it. And then this is you seeing it all beautifully repaired, nice and shiny. This is you recording the process. Keep those memories because they may mean a lot to you later on down the line. Yes, Libra, beautiful. My home is my castle. Don't worry about your stability, Libra. If you're forking out for something, it's going to be worth it. Now, for some of you, if this is you actually purchasing a property, then this is very much you feeling as if you made a good investment. Or it may mean that you're finally able to get yourself into a really stable place. Okay. Flower spirit. Yeah, Libra, you're closing out some kind of cycle. Now, what I'm feeling this is, flowers take quite a while to bloom. You have to feed them, nurture them, right? Put them in the sun and allow nature to take its course. So this is something that's going to unfold and blossom in time. There's no rush. 
Mm, beautiful, guys. This is a lovely reading. No rain today. <laughs> Libra, before long, you're going to be sitting in the sunshine thinking, oh my goodness, ah, I've done it. Again, a three and a seven is ten. You are completing a cycle. Yes. Wow. Wow, Libra. Beautiful. Final message, please, Michael. Thank you. Weaving flowers. This is such a lovely image. Libra, this is you getting creative. With a number three, you're embracing change. Two threes are six. Six is all about balance. I think you are creating your future. Yeah. So, beautiful people, let's get our final message from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, may we have your final closing message of guidance for my lovely Libras? Thank you, Michael. Oh, two. <laughs> Okie dokie, he wants two, that's fine. So, the first message, Libra, let go of fear now. You're sitting there stressed, don't be stressed. And the prayer reads, Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic or ego-based thoughts or feelings. So Libra, don't get on your high horse and ring someone and say, what are you doing? This is crazy. I haven't heard from you and, and cause a fuss. Just sit back and try to relax. It's all in process, is what I'm getting here. Okie dokie. And have a sense of humour, Libra. Have a sense of humour. Don't stress too much. Don't get too serious about this. Even if it is a serious situation, try and be as lighthearted as you can, right? Inject a little bit of fun because this is exciting for you. Thank you for helping me see the humour in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I'm willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. Yeah. Libra, it will all go as planned. You know, keep your sense of humour, don't stress too much and just know it is a process. OK. All right, guys, I'm leaving the reading there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a lovely weekend and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, guys. Bye now.